Welcome, uh, folks, to um, to our launch of the uh, the, uh, the prints for the uh, from here on in. Um, I've tried to work out a way of um, getting prints down to a, a cheap enough uh, price to make them uh, popular again. Uh, printing is um, of your prints is, is always going to be um, a part. Um, of the photographic scene and to encourage that we've tried to get the pricing down which is the most important part of it. Uh, the days of cutting mats and everything else and the time and the, and the cost made them prohibitive and very very few members were, were pursuing that. Uh, to this end I've set out uh, to try and achieve a task of getting them uh, easier to put together and under $10. Um, I've Printing was, was one of the costs that was quite high and, and it was easy to get cheap prints um, but they were cheap uh, in, in, in look as well and uh, inkjet is not terribly suitable because a lot of, particularly when you get black and white prints, uh, turn out um, uh, it's a sort of like a, a, a magenta colour so not always suitable. So I went around town and I, uh, Cambridge and I, I got a, a similar prints printed everywhere um, but then I went to print house in Hamilton and um, I uh, evaluated the quality and the price and finally ended up um, at um, a print house with very very good quality both in color and black and white and uh, for about eight dollars a print um, so to, to this ends um, with the board that um, that also I've, I've had cut uh, is about um, two dollars so we can do the whole thing under turn. Now, we can also uh, frame it um, and, and mount it um, without having to uh, go to an awful lot of trouble and I'll show you how to do that. Um, well, I'll give you an indication how to do it really because it's your trial and error. And if you, um, if, if you find a better way of doing it, by all means do. It's not too tricky. Um, it's, it's, um, and it's certainly uh, achievable in a short period of time. If you decide that you want to um, go ahead and uh, still do your own prints, that's absolutely fine. Um, and mount them and, and do that. And f if you're going to enter uh, national competitions, I would suggest that you still use mats. Um, but you don't have to. Uh, the way we're going to mount them here uh, is uh, an acceptable PSNZ standard. So you don't have to um, uh, to do thing. The good thing about it now is that once you've mounted your photos, they although they're straight on the board and they'll be mounted on the board, you can um, <coughs> you you take them home at the end of the day. You have got a nice print, and you can cut a mat to fit it and put it on top, and you can you know keep it for mounted or put it up on your wall or give it to friends and family and things like that. You have something infinitely more interesting. Um, than, um, uh, than the digital file, which will just be put aside, probably lost forever. You need very few materials at home to, um, to do the job. You need a can of, uh, of um, adhesive. I'm not too sure where you can get them, but you, you, um, you can shop around and find them. I use a repositional one. Uh, the repositional being that if you do make a small error when you are first put it down, you've got a second or so to lift it and, and reposition it. Um, and it's also it only needs to be sprayed onto one onto the back of the photo instead of two surfaces. You need a good craft knife. Um, you'll need to have a rubber. And what I've done with the rubber is um, I just bought a, a conventional um, eraser, a white eraser, soft one and just cut it um, so that it's got a through the middle so that it's got a sharp edge and this is you you actually draw on the on the um, around the photograph with um, <clears throat> with pencil the idea of using pencil is that you do have this opportunity if you make a mistake of rubbing it off there's nothing really to say that you can't use a fine um, uh, felts but if you make a mistake it's all over. The uh, pencil that I prefer to use um, is a 6B. Um, the 6B is a, <coughs> is a nice soft 
um, pencil that, that draws uh, um, onto this onto this board uh, really quite well. Um, the corners are a um, are where your uh, your difficulty comes in doing this, but I'll show you later on on how to go about that. Here we have the um, our board. It's a standard size, and I'll come back to how uh, you can procure these later. Um, and the first thing we're going to have to do, of course, is to uh, to um, to mount it on there. But of course, you need to trim the edges of your photo first, which is pretty stock standard stuff. I've actually got a ruler that I've um, two-sided taped a felt on the back of, and th that felt actually is is really um, very very handy, um, in as much as that it prevents any damage uh, to the photograph in any shape or form so we'll just cut it clean and you're using a glass surface to cut on a glass surface is um, is amazing um, if you could ever find a piece of um, um, toughened glass and um, oh. I just painted the back of it with um, an off-white um, thing and yeah it, it's um, it's the most amazing surface. Or um, a large ceramic tile will do. Yeah yep yeah. it's always good to cut off. Mm. So then okay we're going to position your, your, your print and I won't go into that but you always do it um, of course dead centre but you um, this way but above optical centre that way. Uh, proportionately you can use put your photos on there even if it's a small print you can you know you, you I mean by all means if you feel that you can do it you can cut these bigger boards down and mount smaller photos it's it's up to you these photos have been designed now for the camera club display that they'll just sit on the on it like that and uh, and and they will be um, you know displayed several times during the night um, but it's it's a good standard size, and it's that size is standard for um, for competitions. This is um, if you've got one, you remember the old T squares that you used to use at school. Um, it it might come in handy to square the the photograph up. Um, I'm going to just use a a set of verniers here, but um, to to sort of square the photo up, um, which is absolutely important to get it reasonably, you know, or pretty well spot on. Um, and then conversely get it into the centre the other way. So that, that's, that's pretty good. That's a little bit there. So then using a very very sharp pencil just mark the, the corner. Very very tiny mark just in that corner there. So you've got those, those two corners. Okay, right. <coughs> this can be done outside. <coughs> Probably better than doing it in a in a confined area. Shake your 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 um. <coughs> just put a very little piece on the corner there. Don't don't um don't overdo it. <coughs> and then spray making sure you spray the edges it takes a couple of minutes I'll turn your can upside down by the way and and finish and empty it out the empty the nozzle and clean the nozzle so as I said it could be done outside or in your garage or somewhere where you've got a um, you've got a bit more um, a bit more room and a better ear. Making sure your picture is up the right way. You just put it back onto those marks that we had and drop it down. The, I use a piece of um, glassine here but it doesn't have to be, it can be just a piece of um, um, grease, -proof. grease proof paper uh, that you um, have. Just put it on and then wipe the photo away from the middle 
until you know that it's it's nice and flat. And that just saves if there's any glue around the edge or anything uh, that will uh, ignore it. So okay, so it's on there. Very simple. As I said to you before, I find that the um, <coughs> the um, the corners to be the hard part. So what I've made is a little um, a little wooden corner piece. It's, oh, I'll make these available to you and you can use them as an option but there are other ways of, um, of doing it but this is the one I found most satisfactory. So we just put it on the corner of the photograph and just very carefully just put a, a corner, a complete corner onto it so that it's, it's a matter of butting up the, the corner because if you don't, um, it looks pretty awful. But this will be a bit of a test. Oops, I just made a mistake on there. I can rub that off. So now <clears throat> it's just a matter of carefully joining up those, those corners. And making sure I, I prefer to go both ways. Once there, once back. The idea is to stop double lining and having a pencil that's going in and out of um, little <coughs> mark on the corner here which I have accidentally done which I can erase like that and, and, and that's it that, that is all you need to do I understand that you can actually write with the pencil on the front uh, either on the usually on the, the left bottom corner um, the name of the picture but I think for competition purposes just stick to what you do now by putting you know, the, the, the name of the photo on the back and your grade and we are in business and we are ten dollars um, and that's perfectly acceptable um, for, at PSNZ standards now so the, the process now is um, is how do we how do we make it simple for the club to use so, um, so what I'm, I'm, I'm advocating here is that I, I will do all the backboards, um, get them all ready, and you, I will, um, you can buy them on club night for $10 for the, for the board, but that pays for your print as well. And so then I will organise the print, and the, the, the images would have to, because if we work back from Wednesdays, um, we'll do the, the fourth Wednesday as our club, and if we're going to have a competition, then the the uh, um, the, um, the 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 image has to be in before that. But um, and you will need to have time to mount it and that kind of thing. So Derek and I will uh, organise a, a reminder that will come out to you for the day um, to get your images. Um, to me and that's to you you'll send those images to me um, to two hills at ypalmail.co.nz if you had the ability to do it if you could size them to uh, 31 by 22 something to fit into a box of 31 by 22 centimeters um, that is the longer side being you know your um, your 31 and whatever the other one comes to at a 300 dpi it's not important. I can I can adjust it um, and size it before I send them in, um, but it would be nice if, if you could. So you send me the file, and um, and I will organise to have them printed. 
then I'll take them in a box to um, to Wright's bookshop and um, Richard um, not Richard um, Hamish Wright uh, has agreed to um, to have them um, there and you can just say you're from the camera club <coughs> you pick up your photo and you go home and you produce um, produce this and drop it into the um, to the meeting before um, the, uh, the, 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 the the month before the competition. Um, also at Wrights, I will leave some more boards um, uh, there as well. So if you pick up your print, you can pick up another board um, and just leave $10 in the in the in the box. Um, but and I will also leave some of these corners that I've made up, uh, and also I'll bring the boards and the corners to club night, and uh, you can. Um, uh, you can pick them up from there. Um, so we then, we've, um, as you might have already seen tonight, or you uh, will see, how we uh, prepare the uh, the photos for display, and how we um, we put them up once they've been critiqued. Uh, the process that you see is standard uh, in New Zealand wide and meets uh, PSNZ standards. Um, so let's hope that um, by simplifying the process and getting the price down. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can get Cambridge Camera Club uh, with at least probably 50-50, uh, if not more, prints versus uh, projected. Thanks. Have a nice night.